Once we've created the drawings that we wanted and added any two-dimensional representation, such as fill patterns, we need to start to annotate these, which means dimensioning and labeling or full annotations to describe what they all are. Now, when we're talking about a tile pattern, it's important to describe the setout. So where do I want the tile setout to be from? This is much easier to do when we're talking about a two-dimensional fill than a three-dimensional surface because we can go into our fill options and we can change relative to fill or option origin and then we can select that and choose a point and we're now defining that the tile is set out based on that point so that's very very easy and very very accurate way of working that would also mean that we now need to represent where that is so we could create a symbol Let's just make it a solid line and we'll add an arrowhead to it. And we'll rotate a copy of this. And we'll just call this our tile set out. That's one way of working. A better way might be to dimension a point inside this pattern or somewhere closer to the ground because choosing an outside edge is, is maybe not a very good representation of how that should work. What else? We can change our three-dimensional object. So we could select our cabinet. Now it's hard earth sometimes to find all of the elements that we want by flicking through these boxes. So one of the ways that I like to work is to change to all parameters and then through all parameters it might be easier to find this backsplash so I can change that to zero that will then disappear the problem with this of course whenever we're using two-dimensional things like two-dimensional fills I now need to update this in order for it to work properly what's next we need to add in dimensions. What do we want to dimension? We don't need to dimension the room. We need to dimension the set out of other elements in our room, such as the size or the height of the cabinet. How do we do this? I don't necessarily want to use linear dimensions, although I could. Let's change this again. Let's put it on ARCHICAD layer for now. I could simply dimension it like this. I would therefore want a different dimension for each of the elements. And I might position those outside of the frame so that they're not getting messy. So that's one way of working. I could also use elevational height dimensions. So in this case I'll draw a line. I will use my dimension tool but this time I'm going to choose the elevation point so I have my elevation marker I like to change the way that this is represented which one do I want I want to change it to text beside arrow I want to change the font size so we're talking about three millimeters so that means it sits beside it and then I can add in text to this to describe what we're talking about. And then once I've done that once, then I can drag copies of this. To describe what I'm talking about. And we see that this text or this dimension is automatically updated because it is connected, in this case, to my line. So we'll call this bath hob.
What else do we need to do? We might want to add in a label to describe the type of tile that we're using. So I'll just use text in this case. We'll call this PT1. By this I mean porcelain tile 1. And I want to put a box around the text. So we have the ability to add a frame. I might also want to make the background white. So add an opaque background. And I often will want to add a little bit of width around the outside of the frame. And I'm going to choose to not wrap the text, which will snap this box back so it's the same size as the marker. Now with my true line weight on, we can see this is a very thin line. I can go into the settings and make that pen thicker. So it gives a, a thicker box around the outside. I haven't got a mirror. I could add a mirror as a three-dimensional element. Now, you might want to find a mirror object. I just feel that's unnecessary. So instead, I can represent that just maybe with a, a wall or a slab. I prefer the slab. We'll put this onto the layer called Fixtures and Joinery. In this case, I will use a basic slab. I will start from the ground and work my way up. I could change this to a surface called mirror. It doesn't really matter what it's made from at the moment. I'll make it as long as the bench and I'll use my rotated rectangle, make it as long as the bench and then I'll bring it out 10 millimeters. Display order, bring to front. Now I can fix this in 3D or in floor plan if I know the sizes that I want to make it. In this case, I'm not sure. So let's just say plus 1000. We'll go back into our saved view elevation. Now we can see the mirror here, but it's not at the right height. So what do I want to do? I can stretch it down so it's at the cabinet height. And let's say I want to make it full height. Let's grab a copy of this, take this down to ground level, and copy this up 2400. So we'll call this FFL, FFL finished floor level. Now this isn't the finished floor level of my bathroom, because the finished floor level of my bathroom changes, because the tiles are sloped. So this is the finished floor level of the associated space to the bathroom. So we can call this the threshold. And I'll describe this as my FFC, sorry, FCL, finished ceiling level. Now I can stretch this up. I can stretch it this way if I know how tall I want to make it or I can keep stretching until I reach the top to make it full height if I want to. Now we can see that the tile is running behind it, again because that tile is two-dimensional the best way to fix that is just to reduce the tile. Now if we have a mirror that looks like this, the problem is it can be hard to define that that's a mirror. So what we should do is then draw a diagonal line through this, we could change the representation of this to make it clearer, easier to read. And then I might have, have another label that describes what this is. So MR. So this is how we can annotate our elevations. We should do this for all of our elevations and our plans, our reflected ceiling plan and our detailed ground floor plan for the bathroom as well.